This is a follow-up to a previous video, which was a safety tip about wiring up a standard electric outlet, American U.S. electric outlet. I got a couple of requests asking to show how to wire up the correct sequence of wires, that is the correct color coding, which color wire goes to which terminal on the electric outlet. Let's talk about that. Regardless if you're using a metal covered, a metal cased cable, a type MC cable, or a plastic jacketed cable, a type NM cable, regardless of either one, you'll have the same color pattern of wires inside the cable. You'll have a white wire, which is the neutral, a black wire, which is the hot wire, and green, which is ground. That's for the MC cable. On the NM plastic jacketed cable, you'll have the same colors except for the ground. The ground will likely be not green colored, but just a bare copper wire. Both types work the same, just that the NM cable you'll find most commonly in residential construction nowadays. It's a lot cheaper, and that's what you'll probably find in most residential housing. The MC cable you'll find in industrial, commercial, and probably older residential properties. Regardless of whichever one you're using or having the, uh, the outlet that you're wiring, the colors are going to be the same. Up at the top left corner of this photo, you see a little miniature copy, a little graphic of the previous diagram. And using that as your guide, you can see here, we have in, in red, circle in red on the front of the outlet, we have a certain terminal. So this is circled. It's the smaller of the two flat contacts. This is your hot terminal. And you notice that the hot terminal that's circled, and you have also the gold screws that are circled. Your gold screws are electrically connected to your smaller, your flat terminal. This is your hot terminal. And so you would connect the black wire, the hot wire, to the gold screws. And in this next photo, you notice that you have the larger the two flat terminals that's circled. The larger the two flat terminals is the neutral terminal. And the neutral terminal is wired up inside to the silver screws. So you would take your white wire and go ahead and connect the white wire to these silver screws, and that's your neutral connection. And in this next photo, you'll have the green screw. The green screw is ground. So your bare copper wire in the plastic jacketed cable or your green colored wire in the metal jacketed cable, that's your ground connection, and the ground goes to the green screw that's circled in this photo, and that goes to the half round pin that's at the front of the outlet. That's your ground connection. And in this next photo, you'll notice left and right side that shows an outlet as it's wired up inside an electrical box. On the left side, you've got the black or hot wire screwed into the side. And on the right side of the photo, you have your white wire, the neutral wire, screwed into the side, along with the bare wire, the ground wire. And looking at the photo, you see the, the wire, particularly the black wire on the left, it's placed underneath the screw and tightened up. Make that hook in that direction, as you see in the photo on the left. So that way, when you go ahead and tighten it down, the, the set screw, it'll tighten the screw and it'll pull that cable closer in. That's what we mean about putting a J-shaped hook underneath the screw and tightening things up. Just for safety purposes, try to test an outlet after you wire it. Make sure it's wired correctly. If your outlet tester is showing a problem still, and you know for sure that you wired it properly, chances are the cable has been miswired at the electrical box at your circuit breaker. I have seen this happen in a number of properties, so it's always good to go ahead and double check your wiring. It's definitely for safety. As always, make sure that your electrical panel, your circuit breaker leading to the outlet is cut off. Make sure there's no power going to the outlet, then it's safe to work on it. Thank you for watching. Take care.